Greetings, and welcome to the Friday Toolbox. My name is Doug Taylor, and I am one of the instructional coaches from the 21st Century Learning Division. This show is meant to help us learn some new and exciting tools that can be used in the classroom to enhance our practice around the dimensions of 21st Century Learning. Our tool this week is called Padlet, and it can be used in many different ways in the classroom. It could be used for formative assessments, in support of a number of GLAD strategies, or could be used by students to create presentations and media. It might support a variety of the dimensions of 21st century learning, depending on how you or your students plan to use it. As with other tools featured on Friday Toolbox, you will need to create a teacher account to use the tool, but students will not necessarily need accounts of their own. This depends on how the tool is used. To get started, let's visit the tool homepage at www.padlet.com, then click on Sign Up. You can create a Padlet account, or alternatively, you can use your Google account to access Padlet. Enter your information and click on the Sign Up, or click on Google to sign in that way. Once you've created an account and signed in, you will be taken to your Padlet dashboard. To create a new Padlet wall, just click on Padlets, and then click on Create New Padlet. The service will create a blank wall for you with a default background. To make changes to the wall, click the gear icon. The first thing a Padlet wall should have is a title. Let's enter one here. I'm going to call this one the KWL wall. Notice that the title will appear in the top left hand corner of your wall. The description will appear below the title. I'll enter one now. If you choose to do so, you can also add an icon to the wall. This can make finding walls in your account easier if you have many Padlet walls later in your experience. We'll pick the smiley face. Next, let's click on the wallpaper icon. You can choose from a number of icons provided by Padlet, or you can create your own. I want to create one of my own that will look like a KWL chart. To create a custom image, I'm going to use Microsoft Paint. Microsoft Paint is included with Windows and can be found in the Accessories section of your Start menu. It looks like this. The first thing I'm going to do is create a background color. I'll click the Fill button and the green. Next, we need some straight lines using the Line tool in black. I'll draw them in at approximately one-third of the way across the shape and two-thirds of the way across the shape. We'll need one more across the top, and finally we'll need some text. This is the K section, this is the W section, and this is the L section. Now I need to save my image as a JPEG. Click the File menu, select Save As, and JPEG Picture. I'll call this kwlwall.jpg. I'll save it to my desktop. I won't need it for long, just long enough to upload it back to Padlet. Then I click Save. Now we go back to Padlet. Here are the built-in choices. To add my own, I click the Add Your Own button. The middle button is to upload, and then I click to browse to my file. Go to the desktop, and find your chart. I'm looking for KWL wall. Click the image and click open. Make sure the picture is the correct one and click submit. Your image will replace the background. Now that we have a title and a background image, let's click on the privacy tab. Padlet gives you many options for how visible and interactive you want your wall to be. You can set a wall as private or password protected, 
but this option will require students to have accounts in order to access the wall from their own devices. By default, your wall will be set to a hidden link. This means that the wall is public, but is hidden from searching. This is the most commonly chosen option and will allow students to post to your wall from their own device without needing an account. Also notice that you can set moderation options for a wall if you want to be able to approve posts before they become visible to others. Lastly, you can customize the address for your wall. Click the address button. At the top of the window, you will see the current address for your wall. Padlet.com slash Doug9 slash lots of text. If I want my students to have an easier time, I can pick a custom Padlet address. Notice that you have to have padlet.com slash your username at the beginning. At the end of that, I'll add WCSD21 to this wall. I can see right away whether my choice is available. If it is, simply select Pick. The current address will be changed at the top of the window, indicating that you have successfully set a new address to your wall. This is what your students will visit when accessing the wall. Students can interact with the wall by visiting the wall's website and double-clicking or, on an iPad, double-tapping on the background. They can provide a title, which might be a pseudonym, and can add text. Notice that students can also include links, upload images, or even add pictures from a webcam like you might find on a laptop. As students add their comments to the wall, they will appear in real time. This means you can have multiple students editing the wall at the same time, while you project it in the front of the room. Let's look at how this tool might be used in a real classroom. Our class for this week is Miss Morris's room from Agnes Risley. Welcome to the Friday Tool Boss from Agnes Risley. I can't think of many other people we say the great. We don't say Ben Franklin the great. We don't say the Wright Brothers the great. Uh, we don't say Odysseus the great. We don't say Leonidas the great. But Alexander, we do. They just, I showed you guys a movie clip. They made a huge movie about him. Millions of dollars. So he is someone we remember, and he is someone who is known as Alexander the Great. So before we start, I am going to want to know what you know, or what you think you know, about Alexander the Great, which I understand may not be a whole lot right now, because we haven't talked about him yet, correct? This is brand new. So using your computer, I'm going to give you two minutes, and I would like you and your group and I understand everyone doesn't have a device, you're just going to have to share and talk. I want you to go ahead and put up on our Padlet wall everything you think you know about Alexander the Great. Carlos, what are you doing right now? We're going to put up on the wall what we know about Alexander the Great. Under which letter? K. K. Cool. Alright, go. Uh... It's okay. Once you're done, it pops up over each oh, other. Once you're done, done there. you can shift your. Yeah. 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 All right, about one more minute. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in the W, and the W stands for what do you want to know. By the time we're done with our two-week unit on how great was Alexander the Great, what do you want to know? I would like you to put on our exit wall is what do you think was the greatest strength of the Spartan education? So you have to pick one thing that you thought was like above all the greatest aspect of their education. No chores. Alrighty, I'm just gonna read a few. 
Thanks for watching this week's episode. See you next time for another Friday Toolbox.